It's his first start. Marius Betraya is okay. the referee. Right. Thank you. And as Charlotte. I say, Tom Shanklin, former Wales Bonnet. international, conditions could Time not on. be any better in the sports ground, which I know as a regular visitor here, you're surprised by. Yes, good afternoon everyone. Perfect conditions here. No wind, no rain. Just a mouth-watering game. Two teams who are going to want to play Rock. wide rugby. They're going to want to play high-paced rugby. I think the Scarlets have got a bit more momentum, a bit more confidence off the back of two wins so far. First scrum of the match. Use it, it's in the back, going over. Hamid. Bondiaki again, he's the go to man. And that's why Bondiaki going for offloads and a retreat tackle. That's a wonder try. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Mine. Set. Nichols just hovering behind Ruth Pacho. Plenty of threats there in the back line, but he's not needed. Hinging and losing your binding. Hinging and losing your binding. Halfpenny, and did you expect any other result from the boot of Lee Halfpenny? Set! Davis. Mami in protesting, and the referee agreed. Penalty to Connacht right in front of the post. And then Hinge. Here's Jack Carty, a 68.75% kicker. Andy Friend has said his confidence is growing all the time. He's improving all the time as a kicker. This is straightforward. Carty taking his time. Will he take the points? He will. And Connacht lead by seven. Marmion, Sean O'Brien. Carty shoveled out by Healy and it could be in again to Kenneher. Kenneher's going to run it home. Connacht get their second try. <laughs> Bullbring presents Davis Patchell. This is good movement from Scarlets. McNichol. Davis. Patchell, ball. Lost, black. Davis digs it out. Fonatia, lovely floated ball to McNichol. Oh, McNichol has got inside Keen Gallagher and has scored a wonderful try. Very good option there from Garth Davis to switch it back down the left hand side. The Scarlet's playing the wide channels and hitting up in the middle gives them an option. Marmion, Carty, the kick doesn't work out but no they had advantage, advantage. No. so it was a shot yeah, to nothing. Edgy a seat stuff this isn't it? <laughs> not a problem for Carty, it's not a problem for Connacht, the lead by seven at the break. Marmion, Carty, Carty to O'Halloran, he's got Healy out wide but he's tried to go himself. Marmion, they try to crash through to Farrell, looking for a second try. Marmion, plenty of options there. Delan driving his teammate off. No, never. Always in possession. McCartney. Marmion, Carty with the cross fielder. Are they going to get there? Are they going to get a third try? McNichol got there ahead of Kelleher. And James Crombie, the photographer, almost felt it there. Actually, he's the only one who didn't get hurt in that incident. Kelleher. Thank you. Here we go. Now you can see his arm trying to pull it in. I think that's very harsh if that's hey, Marius, there all the angle. 
the green player. It didn't look. I agree, cynical. Marius. Okay, so will you start with a penalty against Connacht on the five meter line? Yes, Marius. Okay, it's taken in the air, so it's penalty. Taken in the air. Was waiting for him. As was Hardly Parks. Here's Sean O'Brien. O'Brien spots a gap and goes through it. Kazim and uh, Halfpenny combined to stop him. Carty, Thompson again making a tackle. No, don't, don't go, don't go. Thank you. Marmion. Advantage offside, never go back. Buckley. Connacht have the advantage. Marmion on the snipe. It's dropped, but as we say, they had the advantage anyway. Advantage offside. Well, it was from a good angle, but it was a pressure kick. Jack Carty, though, landed and now there's 10 between them. The Australian. Patchell, Paul, he's oh, got over his carry. injury and that great is a offload. fantastic offload and surging up the park was Jones. Hidalgo Klein, Patchell, Pridey, Parks, Parks inside, Parks gives to Pridey who's going to get a try and Scarlett's are right back in this. And that is Scarlett's rugby. To the right to Patchell who puts it deep into the corner, just gets a little bit of territory. Hidalgo Klein to O'Brien. Parks. Tackled well by Bundiaki. O'Brien. Good turnover by Cox. And O'Brien is driving on. And it's Adia Loken. Adia Loken for the second game in a row at home. Gets the try for Connacht. Blade, Quinn Roo, Blade, is it time over? Tom Farrell, okay advantage knock on, and Scarlett's have it back, it's a guest pass and Adi Loken is onto it but they had the advantage, no advantage. Scarlett, it was a knock on, time is over, and that's it, Cox get the win and I think Tom is fair to say that they were worthy of it. Yes, completely. No complaints here. They've been accurate in attack, aggressive in defence.